Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. So, late last year, Niantic introduced weather into the game, which gave certain Pokemon, based on certain weather, an attack bonus when attacking other Pokemon. This gave the opportunity for a Tyranitar to be dueled as a level 4 raid boss. So, late last year, two trainers here in town successfully did it. It was quite a feat, and uh, it was pretty impressive at that stage. Uh, it took me until February or March to actually do it, because I had to invest some Stardust in my matchups. Looking back today now, I realize I don't have six 15 attack matchups. I have uh, four. Uh, one of them is 13 attack and the other is 14 attack. But I do have a couple of 15s uh, in waiting. Uh, if I needed them, I could invest dust and stardust. So this month, with the inclusion of PvP, Niantic alters some code. They increase super effective damage from 1.4 to 1.6. This gave the possibility for Tyranitar to be possibly soloed. So I've seen a couple of pe people doing it online. I tried last week, it had uh, Bite and Crunch, unfortunately it failed, I think I tried maybe 5 or 6 times, came very close, needed a couple more seconds. So today, uh, another one popped up in cloudy weather, and it had Iron Tail and Stone Edge, so we jumped in with our 6 matchups, you're going to see now how we got on, and um, enjoy. So I haven't actually had a chance to watch this myself, so I'm going to watch it along with you. So, basically we used the Quick Join trick, which is creating a blank team and when the timer runs down you get an error message and then you swipe quickly across to your preferred team so these are my six matchups with counter dynamic punch that was our first dynamic punch fired off there so you're going to hope for maybe four to five dynamic punches fired so here's another one so that's two for this matchup stone edge does a fair bit of damage on the matchup but boosts up the bar so we can use our third dynamic punch here's one more i think just before we get hit Damage actually comes back there, I just realized, so not the greatest um, use of match up there. So we use one dynamic punch there. Here comes our second one. Getting hit by the iron tail. Here's our third one. Waiting for that stone edge to come now. That'll be going to be the next attack. It's fourth one. We get to fire up one more just now. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good matchup. Thank you. Dies down at the perfect stage because he was just about to die anyway. And our third matchup comes in. Again, boosted by the weather, fires off his first dynamic punch. We're coming up to around the halfway stage now. So you're going to hope it's going to be in the yellow by about 85 to 95 seconds. And with the Tyranitar here, you're hoping for about 90 seconds. So hit by the stone edge again. That gives us use of another dynamic punch, which we fire off. Get it into yellow in about 94 seconds. And our matchomp dies. Now we've just three matchomps left, so we're just going to go ham with it. Fire off our dynamic punch. I think this one here, we got a lot of dynamic punches off on it, thankfully. So that's our second one. Get hit by stone edge. We can use our third one. And then hopefully we're just going to get one more off. So that's our fourth one there. Just die before we get to fire off the fifth one. So in comes our next one. This attack move is nearly fully charged, so we got an early dynamic punch off there. Gonna be hopefully in the red soon again now. It's 47 seconds, so if you don't try this yourself, you're gonna hopefully gear yourself for those kind of break points in terms of yellow damage and red damage. So as you can see, it went to four o'clock. Thankfully, the weather didn't change because that would have been affecting us. So we've been quite lucky here in Clamel. The weather has been cloudy, but unfortunately, we haven't had any matchups pop up. It's been uh, a lot of whale run and a lot of Marowaks. Um, so this is our last matchup. If we fail and join the lobby, there's no way we're going to get back in on time, and Tyranitar is going to get some health back. So a nice stone edge there, so we can fire off a dynamic punch. Get them to six seconds, the run icon disappears, so that's an official time of six seconds. And then, um, usually we go by the um, the dust falling or confetti, as people call it, with three seconds to go. So, they're, they're the screenshots we post to raidtimes.com. So, if you think you can beat it, we've got a nice charge TM as well, and a fast TM, and a few candies, which is nice. Um, so, that's that's it down with um, three seconds left, confetti wise. Um, it wasn't weather boosted, so we uh, just jumped in, threw a few uh, Premier Balls at it, and uh, thankfully I think we caught it on the second attempt. Uh, so, 
quite lucky, uh, quite lucky to do this, and uh, it's pretty good, pretty good challenge. Uh, hopefully, a lot more people will be able to do it, and hopefully, uh, cloudy weather will stick by. And um, yeah, best of luck with it all. And uh, thanks, man, for watching. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care and goodbye.